Love them knives here. What are we talking about? We're talking about real steel. You want to feel some real steel? This is the real steel. It's the real deal. This is the Sacra. And, I, you know, I got this knife. Uh, and it's denim micarta. But you can get it in a natural G10 as well. Okay, there's your stock number and all that. Um, strange and wonderful little knives. Very strange. Um, this is a Poltergeist Works uh, design. Right here you can see their logo. K110 blades. And... Look at this. This is the deal, right? This is the deal. There was a, there was, eh, was, was that knife news? What was it? Oh, they were, they were, right. They were in knife news. Okay. Uh, what was the edition? Okay. November of 22. Talking about Poltergeist Works, Sacra, Ambidextrous, blah, blah, blah. Folded, folded spine, the slide lock. The slide lock, uh, baller K110, blah, blah, blah. So, okay, so you can get this on real steel. And so it's an integral, right? Because it's one piece of folded steel. I know I've seen another knife that did this, okay? And it's, so it's not like ultra, ultra, you know, crazy, unique, but this. Check this out. I mean, this, if you pull like the slide lock, I mean, I'm, I'm, look at, it goes right up. I mean, it's like an automatic, look at that. That is so crazy. This slide lock, I don't know what it is, but you just let it fold itself up, right? That's really fidgety. It's incredibly fidgety. And uh, you got these ambidextrous thumb studs. But it's just like it folds itself right up into the, uh, into the knife. And you know what? It disappears, doesn't it? Uh, blade, you know, the, the design is nice. Ooh, we got plenty of blade length. And it's not a very big knife. And it's not very heavy. Even though it's a piece of steel there. So, you know, that would be some weight. And then they put scales on it too, right? So you want some G10 or micarta, but ooh, look at that. They punch some holes in it. They punch some holes. But you think that might be strong? <laughs> you think? Uh, yeah. Oh, they did some little gold goodies on here, which kind of sets it off. But the G10, you know... A uh, natural G10 doesn't live long in the environment with me because I'm always getting the dye pot out and throwing some color on them. But you know what? Natural G10 just in its own right. I mean, I've got a buddy who hates it. He thinks it's baby puke. But you know what? I like that kind of translucent jade myself. So I'm I'm all good with that. Look at that deep carry pocket clip with the tapered screws. Oh, okay, so, yeah, baby. Oh, okay, so it's going down through this, this standoff here. Uh, you'd think the damn thing could almost hold form the way it is because of the way it's bent over there. You're probably not going to compress this very easily, but, yeah, you got a standoff in there. Um, that might be interesting if you disassemble this because... You've got the slide lock, but you've got it as an integral. Poltergeist Works come up with this craziness. And I ask them, I went to Instagram and I I direct messaged them and said Sacra. Because I looked it up and you know Sacra is plural for sacrum. Okay. Sacrum being, of course, that fused piece of your spine down to your tailbone, whatever, okay? So that's why I thought they called it sacra because it's a one-piece fused spine on the knife, right? But he responded saying, 
rites and ritual. That sacra meant rites and or rituals. So I don't know if he was just, I don't know if he was funning me or what, but I think it's more appropriate because of the sacrum and the fact that it's a fused or one piece, you know, like your sacrum is a one piece bone. So I don't know. Regardless, here we go. It's a small knife. It's lightweight. It's super fidgety. That's for sure. With the slide lock. It's not an axis lock. Wow. It's under three ounces. 2.77. Okay, so what do we got? 78 grams. 78 grams. I wonder if it's lighter in the micarta. I bet it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is lighter in the micarta. Okay. But still, very light and how big a old boy. I think this is, is this sub three? No, it's three and a quarter. You know what? This looks so much smaller than it actually is. Isn't that weird? Because I would have called this like 2.9. And it's really a three and a quarter at close to 85 millimeter, like 82 millimeter blade. Seven and a quarter, over seven and a quarter at 18 and a half centimeters. So not as tiny as it, it just looks small coming out of the box to me. Okay, but three and three quarter inch blade, it's not that small. Okay, let me get a piece of paper here because I think we got to do this, right? Okay, I just want to feel... Okay, let me try this one. I just want to feel what it feels like. Oh, damn. Honey, we're not even dating yet. You can't kiss me. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit sharper than the other one, but they're both got a pretty good factory edge. And guess what? <laughs> guess what? Good for piercing. God. See, I don't think you got to try that hard to get this thing to tuck in. You know what I'm saying? Just pull back and let it do it on its own. It's so weird. Um, and kick it. Thumb. Middle finger. Oh, ooh, fail. Oh, hold on. Come on. I'm, I think I'm trying to stop it with that forefinger. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Let's see? Okay, but I mean, just ooh, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> you see that? God dang. Um, yeah, that's strong. It it really retracts. It really does. It's almost like an automatic the way it retracts. Very strange. Very strange. Okay, so quit fooling around with it. Um. Oh, by the way, you might be interested in this because you got the scales here. Yeah, they're gonna, you know, half inch though. That's it. Okay, twelve point eight millimeters. Uh, what do we got for blade stock? Yeah, two point seven, close to three point one zero. Okay, okay. So that's pretty par for the course. Boulder K one ten. Uh what do they want for these? See and eighty nine. Now this is if you go to the real steel. Site, of course, Chinese New Year, whatever. But uh, real steel site. Now, I don't know if later when they hit other retailers, if they're going to be a lower price, etc. But uh, $89. And I would have preferred 154 CM if they were going to do that. Maybe the fact that it's a integral body makes it more attractive to people. And I like real steel. Uh, you know, I like their knives. I think they make a good uh, product. So I'm good with that. And the ergos are great. I mean, ergos are fine. Uh, design flow is fine. Uh, blade tucks in, it's centered. There's no play or anything like that. It's solid with that slide lock. So that's doing a good job. That's a big enough thumb stud, and you can definitely kick it open however you want. 
Um, like I said before, you know, right and left hand, so we're good there. But yeah, I mean, it's fidgety. And this is, this is pretty grippy here, too. Even if you just do the G10, there, there's, there's texture, as you can see, on the G10. Not as grippy as the micarta, but to tell you the truth, um, if this was, if this was like satin, like this one is, and that, that, if this was just blue G10, I'd really prefer it to the micarta, because I'm kind of getting burnt out on micarta, and micarta will pick up other things if it comes in contact with other fluids or something you know what i'm saying where g10 no right so um yeah I, I would prefer that maybe you would like this this is a little bit more striking of a look and the fact that it's coated because it's a semi stainless right so that may be more attractive to you to get something that is less likely to corrode because, you know, and of course, the, I've heard that the corrosion factor, it just depends on also the finish of the blade, you know. So I can't remember if it's like if, if it's more of a stone wash and or more of a uh, satin uh, or bead blast depends on how uh, imp how impervious it is to corrosion or it might be more subject to that depending on the actual finish of the steel so there's that here you go yeah both fidgety they feel small but you still got a three and a quarter inch blade wow um i don't know that's just kind of deceiving I think uh, it just looks, upon presentation, much smaller than it actually is. But, you know, you got a jimped area up here on top of the blade. Uh, so, yes, that's effective. Uh, you can't really jump up in here comfortably. But, I mean, you do have this cutaway area. So, when you go to strop or sharpen... You're not banging up against something, and that, I like that. I like that. Uh, let's look at the screws. I mean, here and here, you've got a number eight opening, so you can get into both. And then here, I think that's a number six. And then the pocket clip. I'll probably, you know, take a scale off and take a look underneath and see how they set this up. You know what I'm saying? Because it's interesting. I mean, obviously they can't take it apart. It's one piece. And by the way, I mean, you want you a really cool knife as well. Um, this Bragnitz design, Ivan Bragnitz, Ukraine designer uh, and uh, knife maker. Wow. This one is the huge H U G I N N. Okay. I think this is one of the most practical, comfortable budget knives made in 2022. Really. Um, that and the Migron Volona are two knives that I think really people ought to check out. And this is not a small knife, okay? It's a much bigger knife, but it is so comfortable in the hand. Uh, I think this is one of my favorite designs that Ivan has ever done. And he's done a lot. I mean, he's done a lot of knives. But this one, and I like it because it's a budget knife, but I like it because it's so practical. Um, there's just so much to like about this knife. So check this one out too, because Real Steel Shop is doing some variations on this, okay? And, uh, I'll tell you what, they come out with M390 and Fat Carbon on this. It's all over. I will throw myself through a plate glass window to get to one of those. Because I really, I mean, I really like this 
I really like this. I have this in my little box nightstand thing uh, as a EDC rotation knife that I carry. That's how much I like it. Now, let's take this sucker apart. Uh, and let me see. It's driver heaven over here. Okay, let me see what we can do. And I don't know. You know what? I don't know which side. And I'm not going to push my luck there. Okay. I'll push my luck here. Because it's actually unscrewing on this side. And I think it might be captured. And I don't know. Mm, I can't tell from here. But it wasn't breaking away on that side. So, uh, yikes. Oh, give me a number six. Uh, okay, let's, uh, we're, we're going to be doing the back side, I guess. Let's take the pocket clip. Let's take a look underneath. Okay, let's not throw you on the floor. Let's throw you in one of those little trays. And you too. Okay. Now. We should be able to pop this off, which we did. There's your micarta. So what are we doing in here? Okay, so Omega Springs. Uh, got a little bit of junk there. Okay, we're good. So that's it. And what are you going to do about that? Okay, so really to take this apart wouldn't be difficult you just have to take the scale on the other side off pop the omega spring off and then this slide will just drop through so it should be easy to disassemble okay yeah i mean that's not gonna be any problem i mean the omega spring pop right out and you pull it off of here like that and there's one on the other side like that and once it's scales off then this slide will come over and just drop all the way through and pull it up through whatever you want and then you can you could pull this out if you wanted to the only thing is sliding it back into this integral area and make sure that the bearings are on both sides so that would be the biggest pain of the whole thing but it's actually easier from what i can see to do than, uh, you know, like a Benchmaid would be. Because I've done my share of Benchmaids with the Axis Lock, and it is not fun. Okay, so we're back with our Omega Spring back on here. So we're good to go. Oh, yeah. It's playtime. Yes, it is. Nope. Solid. Solid. Yeah. What do you think? Real steel? At least they, you know, they got the guts to do some interesting stuff, don't they? I like this idea. Should be solid. I mean, you know what I mean? One piece of steel folded over. I think that, uh, I think you got her there. And right and left handed. You know, lightweight. Not too big, but definitely not too small. And uh, did it get me? Oh my God, I kept thinking it, it had me. It was close. Um, that blade is a little bit stabby. A little bit stabby. Okay. We got him back. Wow. Yeah, you'll drive yourself crazy with that. You will definitely drive yourself crazy with that because the way it retracts in is just spooky, spooky, easy, fidgety, weird. You know what I'm saying? But give it a shot. I mean, Real Steel, they doing different things. And go on that Real Steel shop because they take some of their different models and they'll do one-off stuff and they'll sell them. You know what I mean? Have you ever looked at that before? Yeah, check that out. All right gonna let you go yes we do love them knives see you guys stay sharp